for starters, we've got Tiny Mama here. So if you hear her cooing, that's all it is. Jocelyn. Hi. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the January 2020 Polish Pickup. If you don't know what Polish Pickup is, every month a bunch of different indie makers get together and they make a polish or a beauty item or a piece of jewelry uh, based off of one universal theme and this month's theme is Written in the Stars. All of these are available today and it will run through the 6th, so in the description box below I will link the Polish Pickup site, their Instagram page, my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. I will also list all of the polishes and makers in the order they're seen. I don't have enough space though to link everybody's site. And before we get started, I wanted to go ahead and clarify the cap thing. I do get questions about this every time. I do try to remember to mention it, um, but sometimes I don't. Some polishes are capped, um, which means that there are only a limited number of bottles available through the Polish Pickup Weekend. And if you hear me say a polish has no cap, that does not mean it's arriving without a polish cap. It means that there's no limit to how many of those polishes can be purchased this weekend. There are over 100 products on the Polish Pickup site right now. I only have 14 to share with you, and let's go ahead and get started. So first from Anchor and Heart Lacquer, we have Equimini. This was inspired by the 1996 Outcast album cover, and it's described as a black base with a green to blue to purple multi-chrome shimmer, a gold flaky, pink hollow micro glitter, and gold and raspberry pink glitter. This one will retail for $12, and there's a cap of 200 bottles available. So this is really pretty, really shifty on the nail, very um, chameleon-esque to me. It does have a ton of these little gold flakes in here. The gold flakes in here kind of give it something to bounce off of, such a dark base. This has a really good formula. It does take two coats to build up to a complete opacity. But what I really like about this is that even though it's a dark multi-chrome base, which is already kind of shifty, all of the other added elements, the glitter and the flakes, do stand out really well on your nail. This is definitely going to dry with some texture. You will want one or two coats of a glossy top coat to smooth this out. I do recommend a thicker glitter eating glossy top coat for polishes like this. Um, and I do get a lot of questions about my glitter eating top coats once I mention it. I will leave that in the description box, the one that I particularly use. Because of the glitter that's in here also, it is going to be pretty difficult to remove. I recommend either a peel off base coat for if you're going to change a polish the next day or pure acetone for removing along with those little nail polish clips that you, uh, you put like a cotton ball, you clip it to your nail and then you just like swipe it off. Works really well with polishes like this. So in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of Equimini and a glossy top coat. So Anchor and Heart Lacquer does have a second product this month and it is the Shape Shift Hand and Body Lotion with Organic Hemp Seed Oil and this is in the scent Moon Emotions. It says it's scented with fresh citrus, cashmere, and sandalwood. It's a dupe for the Lolita Limpica perfume. It's got claims of an ultra moisturizing, fast absorbing, no sticky residue, and not too thick or too thin and it does claim to replenish all skin types. So I'm not sure if you can tell, I've used a good bit of this. I don't often grab for lotion um, in particular I typically like to do like the balms and the creams um, but the fact that I've used so much of this says wonders for it for me this is so nice it is I don't like using lotion because I feel like it sits on the surface of my skin and doesn't do a whole lot for me um, but this one absorbs so quickly and it is so moisturizing now I don't know what the Lolita Limpica perfume smells like, um, but I can tell you this one smells really, really nice. It's very um, kind of earthy, but with like, it's earthy but sweet, um, so I really, really like this. This is a really good, um, this is a really good lotion for me. I do really like their body care products in general, so that is the Shapeshift Hand and Body Lotion in the scent Moon Emotions, and it'll retail for $10 with a cap of $50 available. So up next from Blush Lacquers, we have Starcrossed Lovers. This was inspired by the 1996 Romeo and Juliet movie cover, and it's described as a burnt orange base with a shifting pink to orange to gold shimmer, 
hollow flakes and gold flakes. This one will retail for $11 and there's no cap. This is so pretty. I, I do love orange polishes, um, but I feel like this is kind of a beginner friendly orange polish where if you're wanting to delve into the spectrum of orange polishes and you're not quite comfortable with them yet, this is a really good place to start. It kind of leans more on the neutral side and it does have that pinky glow to it so it kind of gives a traditional look while being orange. This has a really good, really smooth, easy to work with formula, completely opaque in two coats. The hollow flakes, the gold flakes, the shifty shimmer, you can see every last detail on your nail and I thoroughly appreciate this. Not too sheer, very easy to build up, completely opaque in two coats. This is going to dry decently glossy all on its own with not a texture like a glitter creates, but like a slight bit of texture. Hopefully you can see it in the swatch video, um, but it doesn't dry completely smooth. I would recommend a top coat to smooth this out, but nothing in this polish is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Star Crossed Lovers and a glossy top coat. So up next from Colors to Care, we have King of the Monsters. This was inspired by the Godzilla constellation, and it's described as an intense cobalt blue with an aurora shimmer, red to copper to gold, ultra chrome chameleon flakies, iridescent flakies, and iridescent chameleon glitter. This will retail for $12.50 and there's a cap of 250 bottles available. So while I love the idea of blue polish, I don't love blue polish on my skin tone. Um, but this is something that I would 1000% wear. Very, very beautiful, very bright, very vibrant, very pigmented. Just a gorgeous polish. This has a very smooth, easy to work with formula. I got it completely opaque in two coats. The red flash that you get from this on your nail. So Amy from Nail Polish Baby 90 has me hooked on the combination of red and blue. And this one has it kind of all in one. I really like that, very beautiful. I will say though that this stained not only my nail, but the skin around my nails. Um, I don't swatch with a base coat, so that is definitely my, my doing. Um, so if you were to get this and you were to wear this, highly recommend making sure to use a base coat underneath. So like I said, this did completely opaque in two coats. It does dry down on the dull side, so you will want a top coat to smooth this out, but nothing in this is going to dry textured, and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of King of the Monsters and a glossy top coat. Up next, from Indie Polish by Patty Lopes, we have Knights of Aquarium. This was inspired by Camus Aquarius from Knights of Zodiac, and it's described as an aqua linear hollow base with a turquoise shimmer, gold flakes, and multi-chrome flakes. This will retail for $11, and there's a cap of 80 bottles available. I thoroughly enjoy this polish. This is so, like, I like these polishes that are very versatile in the, like, spectrum of seasons. I could definitely wear this in the winter time. I can wear this in the spring. I can wear this in the summer. The blue and gold in here makes this a fall polish for me. This is like a super versatile polish. I really, really enjoy that. This also gives a really cute speckled look to the nail and it's something that's completely original in my collection. The speckled look, been done before, but the speckled, the gold, and the linear hollow in an aqua base. I have nothing like it. Very, very gorgeous polish. This did take three coats to build up to opacity for me. It does have a very smooth formula, no running, pulling, or staining on this one. It's going to dry dull, so you'll want a top coat to just kind of give it some life back, but nothing's going to dry textured and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you'll see three coats of Knights of Aquarium and a glossy top coat. Up next from KV Shimmer we have I Need Space and before we get into this and their indie pickup product, KV Shimmer killed it for me this month. They're both so good. So, I Need Space. This was inspired by the Milky Way and it's described as a slate silver, when magnetized a navy blue with a bright silver line, accented with micro and small hollow glitter and tiny shifty blue flakes. This will retail for $11 and there's no cap. So this is a magnetic polish, and on its own, it's pretty, but I would never probably pull it from my collection. Magnetized, this is 
beautiful. I can see the Milky Way inspiration. It's such a gorgeous polish. The so in the um, like silvery kind of state, these blue flecks pop up, but when it's magnetized and it gets that deep navy blue, these gorgeous silver flakes pop up and it looks like the night sky. It is so, so gorgeous. This has a really smooth formula. I got it completely opaque in two coats. With my magnetic polishes, I tend to add an extra coat um, just because it pulls from the rest of the polish and it makes it kind of look more sheer on where it's pulling from and I wanted that blue base to be completely deep but you could probably get this one opaque in one coat. This dries on the dull side so you want a top coat for that reason but nothing's going to dry textured and nothing's going to be difficult to remove so in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of I Need Space and a glossy top coat. Katie Shimmer's other product this month is the Astronaut Ice Cream Sugar Scrub. You have heard me talk about Katie Shimmer's Sugar Scrubs many, many a times in my polish pickup videos, and they literally just never disappoint. They are extremely moisturizing. They're I use them literally all the time. I have one in my bath. I have two down here. I use them in between... Um, like swatching sessions, so I'll swatch a collection, I'll use this. I'll swatch a collection, I'll use this. I also start my morning by washing my hands with one of these. They're very moisturizing while also like getting the dead skin off and replenishing your skin. I really, really like this. I use this also, I use it on my face. Um, I'm not entirely sure that you're supposed to, but I do, and um, it leaves my skin so smooth. I use it on my legs after shaving. I, I just thoroughly enjoy their sugar scrubs. Anyway, this was inspired by Astronaut Ice Cream and it's described as three layers with different scents. The pink is strawberry, the cream is vanilla, the brown is chocolate. You can use these individually for the scents or mix for a chocolate covered strawberry scent. This will retail for $10 and there is a cap this time of $135 available. So while I haven't mixed mine together yet, um, I do plan to do so. I don't have enough room in it to mix it together, but I do want to get that chocolate covered strawberry scent because it sounds magnificent. Um, but yeah, I've raved about this many times. Highly recommend. So this is the Sugar Scrub by Katie Shimmer in the scent Astronaut Ice Cream. Up next from Lollipop Posse Lacquer, we have Scorpio Season. This was inspired by the water sign of the Scorpio and it's described as a purple based multichrome that shifts between royal purple, deep magenta, and a burnished gold accented with pink color shifting iridescent flakes. This one will retail for $13 and there's no cap. This does incorporate a few things in polish that I don't gravitate towards, the first one being multichrome. I love multichromes that have a hollow in it. But as far as just a regular multi-chrome goes, it's just not something, they're beautiful, but it's just not something I ever wear. This is also primarily purple, so um, this in general would not be something that I love, but these flakes that are in here are so freaking beautiful. This is gorgeous matte, this is gorgeous glossy, this is really, really gorgeous. At the right angles, you get this super strong copper flash and it's just drool worthy against these pink flakes. Formula is good, it takes three coats to build up to complete opacity. That's not unusual for a multi-chrome. If you didn't want to do three coats of this, you could definitely layer one coat over a black. This is gonna dry dull, so you'll want a top coat just to kind of bring this back to life, but highly recommend a matte top coat on this one as well. Nothing in this is gonna dry textured, nothing in this is gonna be difficult to remove, so in my swatch photo you can see three coats of Scorpio Season and a glossy top coat. Up next from Limby Designs, we have Age of Asparagus. This was inspired by the song Age of Aquarius from the musical Hair, and it's described as a pale pastel asparagus green multichrome that shifts from green to teal to blue to pink to purple with hollow shimmer and two types of ultrachrome chameleon flakies. This will retail for $12, and there's a cap of 150 bottles available. This is really ethereal on the nail. It's got that kind of fairy-esque feel to it. Um, the flakes that are in here are really gorgeous. There's a ton of them. You don't have to work to get them out. They spread out very evenly across the nail. A very smooth, easy to work with formula. I'm not the biggest fan, though, of having two strong elements in a base. So um, there's a 
lot of shimmer in this and there's a lot of flakies in this and I kind of wish it would have gone one way or the other like a light shimmer with a ton of flakies or a light flaky with a ton of shimmer. This does build up to opacity in three coats. It dries dull and slightly textured, so you will want a top coat for both those reasons, but nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Age of Asparagus in a glossy top coat. Up next, from Night Owl Lacquer, we have The Archer. The inspiration behind this is an artist's depiction of the Sagittarius Archer, and it's described as a violet base filled with three different color-shifting crystal chameleon flakies in shades of purple to red to orange to gold to green, and red to gold ultra-chrome chameleon flakies. This will retail for $12.50, and there is no cap. So while this says it's a violet base, and I can totally see that being the case like when I have it on the neck of the bottle. When I wore this it kind of leaned more on the navy side. I'm not sure if it's because of my undertones and my skin or something um, but it's more of a blurple base than like a bright violet base which I prefer. I'm not mad at at all um, but just bear that in mind I'm not sure if that's just me seeing that or if it's like a skin tone thing um, but this one leaned a little bit more blurple to me. There are so many flakies in here. It is almost ridiculous. Like in a great way. Ridiculously beautiful. Um, maybe that's what's tinting the base in my eyes is is the flakies. Um, this is so gorgeous though. Completely opaque in three coats. You do kind of want to build this one up because of the flakes. It kind of adds like layers of depth and dimension. Very, very gorgeous. I really, really love this polish. Like I said, this takes three coats to build up to opacity. It does dry on the dull side. You will want a top coat to finish this off, whether it be glossy to bring some shine back or matte to make those beautiful flakies even more apparent. Um, I would recommend that top coat either way, but nothing in this is going to dry textured and nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So in my swatch photo, you'll see three coats of The Archer in a glossy top coat. Up next from my brand Pamper Polishes, we have Bayou. This was inspired by the turquoise stone and it's described as a turquoise jelly loaded with gold flakies, blue to aqua to violet ultra chrome chameleon flakies, red to bronze to copper ultra chrome chameleon flakies, navy, indigo, and silver hollow flakies. This will retail for $12.50 and there's a cap of 100 bottles available. I have had a couple questions about this one being named Bayou and I did want to go ahead and um, tell you the inspiration behind that. So. My son Sebastian, his birthday falls on the 22nd, which makes him a Sagittarius um, by one day. And me, my mom, my, a lot of people are Scorpios in our family. Um, and he has so many Scorpio tendencies. I call him a Scorpio anyway. So the turquoise stone is the scorpion stone. He wanted to help me make this polish. Um, so he chose the, I, I know I wanted a turquoise base. He chose everything else about this. Um, and I named it Bayou because ever since he was a baby, we called him Bayou. So that is why this is called Bayou. Literally, just no reason. <laughs> okay, on to the polish. This has a ton happening in it. It's one of those kind of kitchen sink polishes. It is more of a jelly base. I wanted all of these delicate elements to kind of stand out and be the forerunner. And then the base color just kind of be like a background of sorts where you can see through that color to each layer and it kind of gives that turquoise stone effect. That being said, this does take three coats to build up to opacity. I think it has a good formula. I didn't have any kind of running, pulling, or staining with this. Nothing in this is going to dry textured um, and nothing's going to be difficult to remove. It does dry decently glossy all on its own with very minimal texture. The only kind of texture you'll have in this is if um, you kind of have like a buildup of flakies in one area, then you might have a little bit of texture, but otherwise this should dry smooth and it should dry glossy. I would say depending on your application, the top coat is completely optional. So in my swatch photo, you're going to see three coats of Bayou in a glossy top coat. So next from Rogue Lacquer, we have on White Wings. The inspiration for this is the Pegasus Constellation and it's described as a pale minty green with an intense gold to bronze shimmer with linear and sparkly scattered hollow. This will retail for $12.50 and there's a cap of 220 bottles available. 
This one's very ethereal on the nails as well. This one in like Lenby Designs was ethereal this month to me. Um, Indie Polish by Patty Lopes was ethereal to me. I'm getting a lot of those kind of um, like mythical, majestical kind of shifty looks this month and I'm not mad at it. This one is very beautiful though. The shimmer that's in here is very strong. It shifts very easily. The pale green color makes this like again a winter color as well as like a spring color in my opinion. Very versatile in that way. This does have a smooth formula to work with. I did three coats though and got about 90% opacity, maybe 95. Like I could make up my nail line if I was looking for it, but on a day-to-day -day basis, not a single person just walking down the street is gonna notice your nail line kind of thing. This does dry decently glossy all on its own. I would recommend a top coat just for longevity purposes, but just like my polish, if you don't have time for a top coat, nobody's gonna notice it. It does dry smooth, it does dry glossy. Nothing in this is going to be difficult to remove either, so in my swatch photo you're going to see three coats of on white wings in a glossy top coat. Rogue Lacquer does have a second contribution this month and this is the Hero. This is technically an effect topper. Um, so when you're searching on the Polish Pickup site, it does go in like an alphabetical order. It will not be under R with Rogue. It will be under E with Effect Topper and then alphabetically by brand that way. This was also inspired by the Pegasus Constellation and it's described as a flake effect topper compromised of crushed gold metallic flakes and red to copper ultrachrome chameleon flakies. This one will retail for $11.50 with no cap. Rogue Lacquer and flakies just kind of go hand in hand in my opinion. She does them really well. This is no exception. I don't have, I didn't get the most flakies from this, which is insane because looking at it on the brush and in the bottle, the neck of the bottle, there's a ton of flakes here, but I did do two coats over on white wings um, for my swatches. I do think this would look probably better over like a darker cream color. Um, just so you can get all of the tiny little details. Putting it over a shimmer, you're kind of risking losing some of the things. Like there's these tiny itty bitty flakes that are in here. And I didn't really get to appreciate those over on White Wings because of all of the stuff that was happening in that polish. So if you're going to get this and if you're going to wear it, I do recommend putting it over like a deeper kind of maybe navy blue, emerald green, black, cream base. Formula is good though, like I said, I did put two coats over on white wings, and it was pretty. Um, this won't dry completely smooth, so you are going to want to put a top coat over this. And I know for some people that's a lot of coats of polish, two to three coats of whatever base color you want. I recommend two coats of this over whatever you put it over, plus top coat, plus base coat. You're looking at seven coats of polish on your nails. I'm not opposed to that, but I know some people are, so just bear that in mind. This also is not one that you could build up to opacity even if you tried. Nothing in this is going to be difficult to remove either. So in my swatch photo you're going to see two coats of the Hero over on white wings. Why can't I remember that name? And a glossy top coat. And last but certainly not least from Sassy Pants Polish we have Hear Me Roar. This was inspired by the Zodiac Leo, and it's described as a vibrant magenta scattered with purple, hot pink, and royal blue micro shreds, hollow glitters, blue to teal to purple ultrachrome chameleon flakies, and royal blue hollow glitter. This will retail for $12, and there is no cap. If this isn't the most funky, fun, kind of 80s polish you've ever seen, I don't know what it is. This is, this is like a party in a bottle. So fun, so vibrant, so blingy in your face. I don't know if that's what they were going for, but this is so inspiring to me. Like, would recommend wearing this to an 80s party. Formula is good too. It's not too thick, not too thin, very smooth, completely opaque in two coats. All of these elements work really nicely together. It kind of seems like it would be chaos in a bottle with everything happening. The blue shifting here, the hollow over here, the flakies over here, this bright, vibrant base but it works together really well and I, I thoroughly like this one. Like I said, I got it completely opaque in two coats. It is gonna dry with some texture um, and it is gonna dry dull as well. So you will want top coat to smooth everything out and to kind of give it some life back. 
removal is also going to be a little bit of a pain in the neck. There's a lot of glitter in here, so just bear that in mind. I would recommend, again, that peel-off base coat or pure acetone plus nail polish clips if you wear this without a peel-off base coat, just to make your life easy. You can scrub if you, if you prefer to do that, though. But in my swatch photo, you're going to see two coats of Hear Me Roar and a glossy top coat. And guys, that is it. That is all I have this month for polish pickup. I will go ahead and give myself a pat on the back because hopefully I can get this edited like now and uploaded like now um, because polish pickup opens like now. But let me know what you guys thought of these polishes. Let me know what your favorite was from this month's video. Let me know what else you are kind of eyeballing from the Polish Pickup site, what you plan on getting, if this, I mean, it's, it's definitely going to go up after opening, but what you've already grabbed if you've already shopped the Polish Pickup site. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you'd like to see more from me, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye.